Thank you, Pembroke. Broke. Broke. Good morning, darling. Hiya, boss. Did you get a chance to check out Miss Crane's phone call? Yep. Chicago representative says they were on the phone together right up until she heard the shot. Said it was strange for her to call at that hour, and she didn't have much to say. But an alibi is an alibi. Yeah. Did you call the sheriff's office? Yes. Derek called them about, about a week ago and reported his gun was missing. That means premeditated murder, right? Sounds reasonable. Max, see if you can get a hold of the telephone company records for that night. Check. Also, see if an autopsy's been done. Find out if Derek Ridd's been a sick man. Check. You're an angel. Check. Morning. Morning. You look puzzled. Yeah. Listen, did you hear any footsteps right after the shooting, like uh, somebody running? Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I guess I dozed off for a minute or two. The cards aren't as exciting for me as when I was younger. I heard somebody scream, and I guess that woke me up. No, 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 I was still groggy. That's right. At least I had to shake me awake. You're usually not off like that after dinner? No, usually I can't get to sleep at all. Had a few pops, huh? Just one. Elisa mixed one drink for me, I drank it, and that was it. Look, Kavanaugh, I'm not a bum. Hi there. I saw that Sissy was wearing a high school pin, the kind that boys give to girls. I hadn't noticed it before. I asked her where she got it. She wouldn't give me a straight answer. The most logical reply would have been that a boy gave it to her at school, but she didn't say that. I'd ruled out the murderer gaining entry by the windows. No brilliant deduction. The windows had been closed and locked from the inside.